here's what I believe the next presentation is going to address something. It is really misinformation. And, and I think the biggest misinformation is a statement like this. I don't need the vaccine. I have never taken the flu shot. I, I've never had the flu. Well, right now that is under the category of pure luck. Big, big, big mistake. Nurse Thomas and Dr. Osborne Roberts are here to talk to you about the block we call COVID and you. Please listen up. Nurse Thomas. All right. Good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to be a part of this panel today. As you mentioned, my name is April Thomas. I'm a family nurse practitioner, and I'm also a member of IOTA Ada chapter located in Colorado Springs of Chi Ada Phi Professional Nursing Organization Incorporated. Being a healthcare provider, I'm at greater risk every day of exposure to COVID-19. Today, I plan to discuss my experience of having COVID-19, the symptoms I developed, and the process of obtaining the vaccine, along with the side effects I encountered after receiving the vaccine. Now, keep in mind, individuals may react differently to COVID as well as to COVID-19. I first noticed symptoms of COVID-19 on November 11th. I experienced body fatigue, stiffness in my neck, headaches, and dizziness. I already have a history of migraines. However, this headache in which I experienced was completely different from my normal. It was not your typical migraine or headache. This headache from COVID was a constant throbbing, dull, aching sensation that was located in the front and the back of my head and went all the way down into my neck. I have a one-year-old and he had an elevated temperature and was experiencing vomiting, nasal congestion, as well as a cough. So at this point, I decided it's time to go to the emergency room to be checked out. Upon check-in, we were both tested and I received my results within an hour. Depending on where you are tested at, results are available within one to 72 hours. Thank God my son tested negative. However, I tested positive. And I have two other children as well that at the time were not displaying any symptoms. I immediately was told to quarantine for my children and my spouse at the time was on a military mission and had to be called back from the field to, to take care of our children. During my time of quarantine, my symptoms worsened and I developed a cough along with worsened headaches, fatigue, drowsiness, and then eventually after five days, I lost my sense of taste and smell. I did not have any shortness of breath and I did not require any oxygen therapy or hospitalization. During my visit at the ER, I was tested for the flu as well as COVID. I received IV fluids for hydration, pain medication for my headache and my body aches. There is not a cure for this virus. There are only medications to help the symptoms and to help you feel more comfortable. Depending on the severity of your symptoms, there are more medications being used to help with the treatment of the virus. However, individuals with mild symptoms are able to self-treat at home. I completed a 10-day quarantine in which I had to be away from my family and my friends. I also experienced a residual cough and headache for about a month. Currently, I have not experienced any long-term effects from COVID. Being a healthcare provider, I made sure I took all necessary precautions to prevent exposure, such as washing my hands, wearing a mask, maintaining six feet social distancing, as well as disinfecting my surfaces. However, I still ended up catching the virus. I constantly thought to myself, how did this happen? Even though I used all the necessary precautions to prevent from contracting COVID and spreading the virus, this proves that even though we may think we are doing the right thing, there is still room for error. I myself have lost several family members due to COVID. I chose to get vaccinated to protect myself, my family, as well as the patients in which I provide care for on a daily basis. By taking action and getting vaccinated, this will help to prevent the spread of the virus. After you receive your appointment for your vaccination, you will arrive at the location with your ID card. You will then be scheduled for your second vaccine 
and receive your COVID-19 proof of immunization card. You will then proceed to get your vaccine and be provided a fact sheet about the vaccine as well as the side effects that you may have. And you will also be given a number to call if you experience side effects to report the side effects in which you have. After receiving your vaccine, you will proceed to a waiting area for direct observation for 15 minutes to monitor for adverse reaction. Please don't worry, a medical provider is on site for emergencies. If no adverse effects, you will be able to leave and then you will return for your next dose as scheduled. After I received my first vaccine, I experienced, I experienced soreness in my arm, fatigue and headaches once again for one day. My second vaccine, I did not have any side effects at all. I hope by sharing my personal experience, I have answered most of your questions in regards to having COVID and obtaining the vaccination. The side effects associated with the vaccine outweighs the risk of severe illness and possible death. So it's highly recommended to get vaccinated to protect yourself, your family, as well as your community. Thank you.